Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Catron with Yakima Chief Ops. Hope you all had an awesome 4th of July weekend. Out here to give a little crop report on the Yakima Valley this year so far. Uh, as you know, it's been a cool, wet spring, pretty strange weather cycles for our part of the world. And the hops are, de are definitely showing it. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Simcoe is, is looking really incredible in some spots and looking a little spindly in some spots like we see in the back here. Uh, we've got Mosaic and Citra that are really starting to round into form. Overall, it's gonna be a pretty tough baby year. The, the, the cold spring weather, uh, the late plantings, uh, big wind storms and, and rainstorms have really knocked back the baby crop quite a bit. In conjunction with the sun not being out and the plants not growing, the wet weather has not only kept the plants pretty short, but it's also created some downy and powdery mildew pressure, especially in the lower valley. So we're hoping over the next couple weeks, um, as we start to see mid 80s, mid 90s, that heat's gonna help the plants grow. Uh, going into bloom and also help beat back some of that downy mildew pressure that we're seeing. Overall, you know, I've talked to a few growers and, and the grower standard is, uh, well, it's going to be an average crop. Uh, just, despite the challenges, despite the, the bad baby year, uh, we're looking at a, a normal about average average yield for this year. One positive takeaway for this crop here has been our virus-free planting material. You can drive around the valley and see fields planted with, with old rootstock and you see the, the fields right next to them planted with our virus-free material and we're really seeing some robust growth. Um, really excited to see that. While this year may not be a bumper crop and we've, we've definitely dealt with some challenges, overall we're looking at a, at a good crop, about an average yield, and uh, hopefully the quality is going to be in, extremely high. Uh, lower temperatures have obviously uh, helped us fight off any wildfires and smoke damage thus far, so we're hoping that uh, that we won't have to deal with that as well this year. Um, just trying to stay positive and, and hope for the best. So looking forward to, uh, to a good rest of the growing season and uh, looking forward to harvest here in a few weeks.